Okay, it's that time of the year again. Uh, for the Alt Saints Wake event, 2022, which is, I guess, the Final Fantasy's version of uh, Halloween. I guess this year we're getting two Halloweens because uh, they had some delays with the previous Halloween event. Uh, one got cancelled or something, and uh, uh, due to COVID and all that. But anyways, I guess uh, I'm just gonna click through the lore guy real quick because I think this is the same every year. Maybe that's a bit different. But uh, yeah, here's the the lore. I'm just gonna. Click through real quick just for completion. Alright, uh, so that's that. I don't see any other NPCs I missed out here. I'm gonna go check over here. Oh, there's a few, uh, creatures here. I like one of the gorillas, a gale cat, ghost, and Aramon. I don't see any other NPCs, so I'll... yeah, let's just start the quest. Well, looks like we get some glamour pieces, doctor's clothing, whatever. Not, not too big of a fan, but eh, whatever, it's free. So I guess this year is being hosted by the Adventurers Guild and not the Void Sense. Uh, with the clown face, I guess. There's gonna be a wraith. There's a Galia kitten. Galia kitten. There's a Sasquatch. Uh, so let me just do the first one then. Yeah. Uh, we've got to head to the northwest here. So I don't know if there's any difference in the choice, but uh, I'll go over the options later on with, you know, when I do my alt. But I guess for now, let's just go talk to this kid here. wonder what happens if you say no. I wonder if you actually like talk to him while you're not transferring out. They don't say anything special. Okay, I guess let me get my glamour back. Oh, I missed this NPC. I guess this is the store. It's like we could already just buy the emote, the eat cookie emote. You read the description at the bottom right there. And uh, there's a housing item too. Page wisp. We'll check that out later. And then there's a uh, pumpkin head fireworks. We're we already seen this from a previous year. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> I like it. It's pretty funny. I'm just uh, use, use the emote for now and check those out afterwards. Let me get back the glamour and go back to the kid. Looks like we need another transfiguration. Hey, I didn't see these things here earlier. I think these are new. And a little wink and a little boo. This is some of the people we recruited to uh, the event. Don't see anything else new, so let's try the Wraith this time. Yeah, if there's any differences, uh, it seems like we go to a different set of people this time. On the right, here. But yeah, if there's any differences, I'll check them out on my alt later on. And go to this dude here.
Alright, um... Where do we go? Oh, there's a couple more NPCs here. So we got a Sasquatch and a Galia cat. Galia cat? I actually have no idea how it's supposed to be pronounced, but... Looks like the, the Sasquatch doesn't say anything. Okay, well... No one else is here. Seems like. Doing the double check. Apparently he's supposed to meet the guy here underneath the Letter Workers Guild. I don't recall the mentioning where we we're supposed to meet him. But okay. Whatever. Let's go to the destination here. Not the actual investigator. Well, I'll just pick the last option on this character and I'll go through the other ones later on. Ah, oh, it's the void sense. Yes, I should have expected it, but I did not expect that. I did not guess that was the void scent. It didn't really make it sound like it was the void scent. <laughs> This is a Joker mode. I just realized he's wearing the Cassie earrings. Those are uh, <laughs> expensive. Okay, I guess the little Armand is the investigator. Uh, I thought it would be their son, but looks like it's the investigator being transformed. Look at the wake doctor. Oh, I'll just pick the last option for now.
guess. The last option, he does. Transform into the kid. I guess it forces you to pick the the mom, which is I guess I mean I actually don't remember how the kid looks like, so that's kind of true. <laughs> All right. Uh, like no other event. NPCs here. I just want to do a quick check to see if there's anything new at the amphitheater. Right, there was nothing new anywhere, so let's just continue on with the quest. Justin. Seems like we're pretty trusting of this guy, this weak doctor guy. Uh, feed the papa gruff the cookie. Just want to see if there's any extra dialogue here. So the lead transformation. So the same here. Anyway, so I guess let's continue on with the quest. Um, I feel like that wake doctor. I bet that's the white-headed pumpkin that we see every year. Who else could it be? Uh, where do we go? Where to go down here? Oh, I didn't actually know you'd go down here. Or maybe I did, but I just forgot. I never really had to go here. It's Nerval Berry. Then we get a little uh, cutscene or something. So I bet we have to convince him. Uh, I'm gonna try to pick the wrong options just to see what happens. So this is probably the wrong one. We've been up to no good. That's not what his wife would say. Oh, it looks like it forces you to pick the right one. Uh, I don't know if this one's right or wrong. I guess that was the the right option, so we moved on to the next tree. Uh, let me try to pick the wrong one again. I like the little shifty eye to <laughs> do. <laughs> so it's probably also the wrong option. Yeah, the little shifty eye is pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so that was the correct one. And... I hope you're hungry for ripe souls. That's probably wrong, but... I mean, it's, it's corny, but I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> like how it zooms in on his face. And the little shifty eyes.
Yeah, I knew it. I forget, but I think this is the first time we've actually talked to this white-headed pumpkin. But I could be wrong, I could have just forgotten. I have to check my old Halloween videos. So, I guess they're related? Somehow? Somehow that pumpkin controls that void scent. Okay. Looks like nothing else is here. We continue on with the quest. Oh, the songbirds are here. Let's see what they have to say. Pretty cool. It's a nice little cameo appearance. Got a few more people transformed here. Uh, oh, here's the... I forget her name. One of the seed seers, I guess. I, I, I don't remember what they're called. Pajal, the Pajals. So I think we've seen most of these guys. These guys are just big little... Oh, that one makes a monkey noise. Oh, here's the... Blue Mage person. I forget his name. Um... Yeah, I don't see anyone else. Oh, no, there's some Lopritz here. They got a variety of NPCs here. This time around. Those are just regular NPCs that are always here, but these look words. I'm trying to trigger the other two to speak, but it doesn't look like the other two have any dialogue. There's that guy. I bet he takes us to like the haunted house or something. We need to complete the quest before we can talk to those guys. Anything else over here? Oh wait, Papa Gruff is back here. That's the, the kid, their son. <laughs> we need that emote. Looks like that's the end of the quest. I need to clear out some inventory spaces. Give me one second. Alright, uh, let's go get an achievement. And uh, get the glamour set. I mean, I don't really like it. That much looks like just some random alchemist gear or something. Not you get from a dungeon. Maybe someone's into it. I mean, it's free glamour, but eh. Could uh, diet. I don't know, there's probably someone out there who can appreciate it, or maybe like the pants and the shoes can be used in some set. But I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, looks like there's a repeatable quest here. Celebration. So I guess we had a 
do more of this uh, transformation stuff. Try to Sasquatch this time. Wow, it feels like you move so slow. <laughs> I guess uh, compared to a lot of uh, a lot of little legs make you feel like you're running fast. Looks like we can just get some fireworks, and you can repeat it. I wonder if it's like you get different, different NPCs. Maybe. I wonder if it changes depending on what you pick. Let's try that Gale Cat here. Well, it looks like we're going to the same NPCs. So if they don't say anything different, and if it's the same each time, I'll probably just cut this part out of the video. Yeah, it seems like it's the same. Yeah, so I, I tried it a few times. It's all the same, so... just want to pick the no option here. So, oh, he does say something different, but okay. That's pretty much it for that. Um, let's check out what else do we have here. These NPCs. This one takes you to the manor. Check that out later, but I think we've seen it before. It's the same every year. Get a bit of a continuation quest here. you back to the house. Wow, I think these are some new assets. Like, we've never seen these before. Like the mushrooms. Like the little calm ghosts. Even the tree is, uh... Yeah, the spooky tree. They're all kind of new. Wow! This here is pretty cool. Some nice spots for, uh, pictures. Oh, we've got little NPCs that talk also. A little pumpkin patch. Succubus. A little picnic area. A lot of nice uh, photo opportunities. People want to take some pictures. Our so on here is pumpkin patch. I like it. I like this already. It's uh, very densely decorated, right? It's like looking at all the little details they put in. Get some people doing some role playing over here. Like these are the imps that transform you into all the characters, right? I guess we'll check those out later. Oh, it looks like it's divided by expansions or something. Let's put an arm on here. Uh, let's see if I missed anything over here. Let's go upstairs area. This, uh, this building is kind of unique, right? We don't, we don't have a building that where we could go upstairs like this onto the balcony. So ghost here who's eating too much candy. Yeah, I mean, I I like it. Uh, 
very nice. It's very nice. Place is very pretty also. The nice lighting and all that. Uh, looks like there's uh, another path down there, but let's uh, talk to the pumpkin head first. And then I'll have to explore a bit more. I like it, I like this. Uh, it's like the, the new experiences that I like in these games. And this is new, right? That's why I really only like running the dungeon like the first time, because that's new, and then every other time it's just a chore. Since we've never seen this before, this is a... Uh, to me, this is like better than any, uh, you know, like weapon reward. I mean... If the weapon is new and unique, then, then of course that's different, but if it's the same old, you know, you get your weekly chest drop that doesn't, I mean, it's a reward, it's not as unique a reward as this. We'll be doing some uh, G-poses here, or graveyard site. I've seen that little carriage, little wagon or whatever before either. Yeah, I like this. This is, uh... I'm impressed. Little back there. Uh... But yeah. There's just so much stuff here. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Oh, looks like we could talk to him for some additional lore. Wow, okay, this guy has an actual lore. I guess, I guess he's uh, from the Maki or something? The people who bound Void Scent, maybe? Uh, so I guess, yeah, uh... Let's look at some of the transformations that this guy offers. This is just transforming to the various main characters. So these are like the Heaven's Ward ones, right? the last one first. Oh, you just transform into the Warrior of Light in Dragoon form. Okay. There, there's a there's a lot of them. I'll probably try to cut the video in a way that makes it fast. This one was kind of obvious. I knew that guy. Yeah, let's just try to go through these fast. Uh, man who lives free as a bird. I have no idea who that is. Oh, it's the pirate dude. Okay. That was a man unmatched in the art of the lance. That's Astinian, obviously. A Lollifelian woman of the intellectual persuasion. That's Cryo, probably. A half Ellison woman. I think that's Hilda. That's the only uh, half race that I remember. A noble Ellison, that's probably Sir Emmerich? Yep. So I guess that's all the uh, Evansward ones. This is probably a Realm Reborn. 
Oh shit, there's so many. Holy fuck. Okay, let's go through these real quick. Pajal, that's, uh, that's probably the Grand Company leaders. Yep. Kanye. Kanye Sana. Rogadan Woman from Emma Reborn, that's Middlewood. Alright, next we'll probably have Raban. And after that, Nanamo. Nanamo. I remember they gave us like emotes before, but it doesn't seem, seem like they gave us any emotes this year. Guardian Man and Myra Mini, that's Sid. Yep. Uh, next, probably Neural. He hates to be outdone. Uh, and Eccentric Makote Man with Crimson of uh, both hair and eye, that's Squahatia. Hero Woman, uh, who leads a secret organization, that's Minfilia from A Realm Reborn. Pomodo, oh, Rogadan man, recognized for his tactical brilliance. I have no idea who that is, actually. Oh, it's this dude. <laughs> oh, I don't recall him being recognized for his tactical brilliance. I, I don't remember anything about the Realm Reborn story. But damn, he he is in his full armor suit. Does it even, like, work when you're sitting? Because it kind of clips a bit. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. I don't even remember his name, but he appears in Endwalker, so... In the, in the dungeon. That's pretty funny. Anyways, uh, Makoti Worman who frames as a purely songstress. I don't know who that is either. Oh, it's, um, Infinity's mom. Flemalin? I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Uh, Gentleman. Okay, that's Hildebrand. Not sure why he's in his tattered clothes form, but okay. Uh, his assistant is obviously Nashu. I hear a man who began his life anew in a realm reborn. Okay, that is probably the warrior of light since we already saw the Dragoon form. I guess this is his warrior form. Was he a warrior in a realm reborn? I guess he was, because when going into Heaven's War, he was a warrior. Oh my lord, there's so many more. I guess a lot of expansions. There's a lot of characters in this game. Holy shit. Oh my god. Alright, let's see, see if I remember the Stormblood characters. I don't I don't actually know the first one. Oh, it's Hien. Okay. <laughs> Ari Woman, that's a Shinobi. That is Yugiri. Ari Man with a Yearning Heart. That's probably the guy from the steps. The, the sun guy, little sun, whatever his name is. Uh, Ari Woman was a strong body and struck a will. That's the casting Ari. I don't remember her name. Ari Woman uh, lives by her face. That's the pink color one. Yeah. I don't remember any of her names. I'm probably. <laughs> it's probably someone's waifu, but that I'm offending. But I don't remember, sorry. Uh, this one's obviously Lise. I have no idea who this is. I hear a man whose strength and compassion made him a legend. Oh, I don't... I don't remember. Uh, I have no idea who that is. Like, I, I kind of recognize him, but... I forget. Someone who knows who that is, let me know in the comments, because that one, I'm actually stumped. Uh, I hear a man of savage and political cunning. Okay, that is Asahi. A right, man who hunts the servants of darkness, that is uh, Gaius. Ari, woman who was an Archon? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't remember she was in Stormblood. Okay, I don't remember her name though. <laughs> she had a weird echo where she could read the future. That was. I don't even know that made lore sense. Uh, okay, uh, what did we miss? Did we miss any? Okay, the last two looks like Warriors of Light alternatives. Yeah, this is his monk form. I bet the other one is his samurai form, I think. Or Eastern. 
Alright, cool. I guess now we move on to Shadowbringers. I guess for Stormblood, there was actually a few in there that I definitely did not remember. Um, especially that dude. Anyways, so this is the Koti woman. That's probably uh, Yishtola. Yeah, her Shadowbringer form. That was a man who reads the stars. That's obviously Uriyanshe. Handsome hero man who fights to protect those he loves. That's obviously Thancred. Dainty hero and woman who chose to carve her own fate. That's Minfilia in a small form. A hero man who keeps his pirate crew in line as their acting captain. I have no idea who this is. Wait, who is this? Okay, I have no idea who that was. <laughs> That's another one that stumps me. Hairy man famed for his skills as a beastmaster. That's Leon. A lot of fallen women from a distinguished family of beastmasters. That's Pagaga. Or Papaga. I forget her name. Pagaga, I think. Garlean Legatus. Uh, I remember him, but I don't remember his name. Yeah, the evil dude that gets popped on the guy's quest lines. Or the, the ruby weapons, the weapons. And this is probably the Warrior of Light. Yep, in his Dark Knight form. Alright, finally, Endwalker. Oh, there's not that many Endwalker characters. That was the man from the form, that's the twin's dad. I wonder if I needed to like unlock more of them, because I didn't do some of the role quests yet in Endwalker. That was a woman, that's the mom. Carly and man, uh, I think that's gonna be the soldier dude, right? Yeah, him. I don't remember his name though. Uh, Vera man, looking for Kyrios, that's the cleaner dude. Yep, I also don't remember his name. I'm bad with names, I don't remember any of their names. <laughs> and... Last but not least, I guess the Warrior of Light again. This is his Paladin form. Pretty cool. I think I I don't really know if I uh, if I need to unlock some of them, but maybe some of them were I felt were missing. Like where's Runar? Maybe um the bunny girl was her name. The one in the scantily clad outfit. Maybe uh, they just pick and choose. The twins are missing. Where's the twins? Why, why do we have Ishtola but not the twins? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, let's check out the, the haunted house, the haunted manor. We've probably seen this before already. So I probably won't put this too much in the video. I think this is the same every year. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably just cut the video here. I'll do a quick run around if it's like the same. I'll probably cut the video here. Yeah, it's nothing new that we haven't seen before. Uh, if you want to see the house, you could watch some of my previous year's Halloween videos where they actually had events in the house. But uh, this place is actually called a Sneaky Hollow. You know, it had a name. Okay, I guess this is uh, the way back to Redania. Yeah, overall that was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I, I liked it. Um, really well decorated. Oh, this is uh, Haunted Manor again. Oh shit, I actually think yes. Yeah, it's the same Haunted Manor. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, go through some of the stuff on my alt and maybe look at the rewards. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I already bought the stuff from them. I think we saw all the NPCs. Lopards don't say anything else. So apparently if you talk to this NPC as a Reaper, it has a bit of extra dialogue. So all of this is uh, the same. Oh, right here. This is probably a different part. Yeah, you get a little bit of unique extra dialogue as a Reaper for forming a Pact with the Void. That's pretty cool. Hey, what's going on here? Why are... Why are, okay, so why is the pumpkins that are doing the mugging here? Why are they black? And why is the, the leader, the leader pumpkin, the head pumpkin? 
The white one, huh? Hmm? Is that suspicious? I kid, I kid. <laughs> well, I guess that's the uh, uh, transformed NPCs. We could uh, do the emotes. So eat cookie. Everyone seems to like Pagaga. She did that funny face emote. You could buy in a mock station now. I don't have that one, but I guess I have Eat Pizza. Remember Eat Pizza? The Grubhub fiasco. <laughs> Let me show off some of my uh, pay to win emotes. Ultima, Mega Flare. It doesn't actually let you do Zantazukin. Which I don't know why they let you do the other ones, but not Zantazukin. Maybe it's because you don't have your weapon out? But this one, this one forms a weapon. And it's not like Xantazuka and you can only do it on Samurai. This is always hilarious on Lalafil. Um, what else do I have? Yeah, the Xantazuka says uh, you cannot do it. Diamond Dust. <laughs> I guess that's all my pity win emotes. Uh, yeah, I guess you could change pose. Yeah, like Xantazukin is the only one I saw that I can't really do. <laughs> Some Nanamo. It's always funny when Nanamo, Nanamo does these. Oh, this one has the spear. I actually never used this one. I didn't know they weren't both uh, swords. Okay. I guess that's all the Lollafell ones. Uh, just want to see some more on the bi the big goofy dude. Eat pizza, that was a pizza. What about the? I wonder how badly uh, setups would clip. Ah, it's not too bad. Just goofy, I guess. Uh, I guess let me just quickly check out the Peter Win ones and then move on. Hey, that doesn't look half bad. It looks pretty cool. Santazukin still doesn't work here, uh, with this dude. This is so... <laughs> it's pretty goofy. <laughs> you get the wings that clip through his shields. <laughs> I tried the Zantazukin even on the Samurai, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, Warrior of Light, and it doesn't even let you do it on that, so yeah, I guess it's just special for some reason. I didn't notice they put some pumpkins in the trees too, and mushrooms. The decoration's actually pretty nice, like look at the little, like, lanterns they put in here. I don't know if that's the actual uh, default Gradanian thing, but I don't know, it, it looks nice. I like it. Just like looking upwards. Seems like it's always like nighttime here, even if it's day in the uh, overworld. Ooh, look at that big pumpkin. Yeah, so even if you look up, there's like little decorations. I like it. Oh, little chandelier things. I don't know what they're called. Mobiles. They're called mobiles. Got the moon and everything. Oh man. I, I, I really like this place. I don't, I don't know. I spent a lot of time here already, but <laughs> just want to record every bit of it because who knows if it'll come back. It's like that um that one event that was like uh the the seventh floor or eleventh floor or whatever in the one of the second rising event. It never came back. It's uh, it was unique. So I uh, I don't know. Isn't this Anya from Spy X Family? I don't really watch that anime, but uh. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Don't know if they did it for Halloween or if that's their usual grammar, but it's pretty neat. Oh, if, if you approach them as a galley cat, uh, they actually have different dialogue. And it's a different, like, NPC, I think.
So yeah, I guess let me finish the second Daily Cat, because uh, I guess there's two per uh, attempt. So I'll do the two Daily Cats on this one, and then last time I did Aramon first, race second. So I'll do Aramon second, race first, and then I'll do the two monkeys. Oh, Sasquatch. The second Gaelic Cat NPC. Alright, this one's gonna be for the first Sasquatch NPC. Lady behind him. She's all like, are you really gonna do this? This is the second Sasquatch NPC. First Wraith NPC, which I didn't do earlier, because I did the Aramon first. The second Aramon. A singular eye is important to him. It has to be one eye. Alright, uh, this is the second dialogue option. This is the first dialogue option. I don't think I did this one yet. Second choice last time, so we'll do the first choice this time. So I'm assuming this is just gonna lead us to the same option because we're forced to pick the. Oh no, I guess dialogue is a tiny bit different. Yeah, we're forced to pick the the mom. So last time I didn't pick this one because I picked the second one, and that was the correct option. This is his response. I think the rest is the same. We've already seen. Guess we could trust him. I guess if your character has never done Heaven's Ward, it just straight up goes into the a Realm Reborn menu, and the other imp doesn't even show up, which is, I guess, as expected. Uh, you get even less choices if you never even done the main story. So just realized the shopkeeper is actually the NPC from the or the character from the drawing or the event. It's pretty interesting. Oh, this player character has some big personalities. Probably splice this into the end of the video, but I guess I'm gonna go through the rewards here. So we have the cookie, cookie emote. This is the uh, same as every other e emote. That's only the pizza one is kind of different, right? But, okay, uh, I mean it's an emote, that's nice. Uh, I already showed off the gear set, which uh, I said I didn't really like that much, you know, it's just a normal gear set. I think there's no other NPCs around here, let me do a quick check. But yeah, I have to say, yeah, I like this Halloween event. Um, I mean, I, in my opinion, Halloween is one of the you know, higher tier seasonal events, right? There's like the low tier ones, they're like the freaking uh, Heaven's Turn or whatever. <laughs> Uh, maybe even the Easter one kind of sucks, but uh, like 
even in real life, at Halloween, it's like one of those S tier events. And it's like the start of the series of S tier events. It's like Halloween, Thanksgiving, you know, Christmas, New Year's. Not the heavens turn New Year's, but you know, the normal New Year's. It's like the. the what's it called? The gauntlet of nice events over the holidays. But yeah, uh, I guess we have one last housing item. Uh, it wasn't an outdoor item, it's an indoor item apparently. And it's this uh, caged wisp. Read the description on the bottom right there. And yeah. Like in terms of the rewards, I'm not too interested in these rewards. I mean, someone probably likes this cage, cage wisp. Um, for people who do housing, I don't really do housing. You can see my housing is a mess. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's nice. Uh, but yeah, the, the the area, the new area that they gave us. With the, I, I took a lot of screenshots during everything. I thought that was really nice. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, overall, I really like this Halloween event. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, it's weird that the cookie mode is just cookie, not eat cookie. I thought other ones are like eat bread and eat pizza.